Uh, this is another uh, basic diode uh, problem actually here it is asking to find diode current that is flowing through diode T2. So this is a little bit tricky question actually. Um, let's uh, assume for the uh, safe side whenever a diode is conducting its uh, forward voltage drop must be 0.7 volts. This is assumed uh, because most of the times for silicon diodes it will be 0 uh, 0.7 volts. So now let's analysis, uh, let's do our analysis. So uh, if uh, diode D2 is conducting voltage at, let us say this node is Vx, this voltage must be Vb plus 0.7 volts because the diode forward uh, voltage drop is uh, 0 0.7. So this side it is voltage is VB so this side it must be VB plus uh, 0 0.7 volts so that is nothing but uh, VX must be 5.7 volt at least otherwise D2 uh, will not be on so in this case let's see ID2 is nothing but current flowing through current flowing through resistance R because whenever uh, it is 5.7 volts and if Vi is greater than 5.7 volts in fact if it is greater than 5 volts greater than 5 volts, if, if V in input voltage is greater than 5 volts, then D1 is simply off because Vd1, the voltage across the, the diode 1 is less than 0 0.7 volts. That is clear actually. So now, whenever Vi is up to 5 volt, I D2 must be 0 because the node voltage um, Vx always try to be at lower value of the voltage but not at Vx is equal to 5.7 volts. Let's say for example if Vi is 2 volt then Vx must be 2.7 volt for D1 to be on so on so Vx always wants to take the lowest possible voltage only so in this case it is evident for 0 less than input voltage less than 5 volt Id1 is a non-zero but Id2 is a 0 amps because it is um, in uh, reverse bias condition. So now, whenever Vi is greater than 5 volt, so the diode D2 gets on and Id2 is nothing but 9 volt. So that is 9 volt given there and minus Vx over R. So which is nothing but 9 minus 5.7 over 100 ohm. So that is Id2 is nothing but 4.3 over 100. That is nothing but 43 milliamps. Sorry. That is uh, sorry this is uh, not 5.7 this is 3.3 over uh, 100, so it is 33 milliamperes. So if you plot against uh, input voltage Vi, it must be 0 till uh, Vi is equal to 5 volts, then D2 gets on and uh, it is 33 milliamperes. That's it. Thank you for watching.